those issues on which maybe all our colleagues sometime during the course of this campaign will periodically ask Khaam Admi Party for answers. Evading answers will not help because people will see where you are. Avoiding answers will not help because people can see that you are evasive. And misleading the people on these questions will certainly blow back on whoever is misleading what you have done and what you have not done as per the rules or the constitution or the legislation powers that are provided to you. So the broad categories under which questions are being raised as a result of what we know are the findings of Shunglu committee are first the appointment of personal staff of ministers not one not two several of them I can give a few names for example which I think the media today will completely be aware of and but it is important for us to recall the second is the unapproved foreign travels on which I will raise the question and leave it for them to answer let them say it has not happened it has happened indeed with the permission of the LG the third allotment of quarters you know Delhi the land related matters particularly on Lutyens Delhi the allotment of houses is not under the purview of Delhi government so that calls for a questioning of do you know what you're up to do you know your powers and are you doing it knowing where you can and where you can't and finally questionable other questionable actions under which several things can come but I will raise one or two and leave it at that as I said 404 files and uh, after this the report being given to the uh, Lieutenant Governor in November post which a lot of discussions and public flow of information has happened RTI has brought the report out I will just raise the few questions that I need to raise here because we are not talking off the cuff we are deriving from the information which is in the public domain be it through the RTI or be it through the media themselves Nikunj Ag Agarwal's appointment as OSD to the health minister he is a relative of Ar Arvind K. Jirival. is that allowed is there no nepotism in this decision what brings Nikunj Agarwal and nobody else into that position second Roshan Shankar uh, appointed as advisor to the tourism minister Abhinav Rai appointed to the transport minister Rahul Basain and Gopal Mohan again Gopal Mohan is a very close associate of Arvind Kejriwal appointed even to the CM zone office are these being done and they are being questioned by the Shunglu committee's report according to the media even worse is the appointment of Satyendra Jain's daughter who is an architect by profession but she is appointed to head the health mission the Mohalla clinics and related matters on which a lot of public promise has been given you want to run it through your health minister's own daughter who has no special expertise in it but she is an architect good enough for the job she may or may not have drawn the salary but it was a position worth 1.15 lakh per month as salary and this position was given to Satyendra Jain's own daughter all these clearly raise the question of nepotism and I'm sure these are questions on which somebody is going to the people asking for votes whether it's for the municipal corporation of Delhi or for anybody else has to answer these questions which are being raised and if this is broadly on the personal staff to the ministers the next question on which we like to raise a broader set of questions are on the allotment of quarters type 5 quarters which is not under the eligibility for Akhilesh Pati Tripathi who is an M MLA is being allotted on what basis and do you have the authority to allot houses Second, uh, uh, MLA in Delhi doesn't, Mr. Vijayendra Gupta is correctly reminding me, MLAs in Delhi Legislative Assembly do not get as per ent entitlement any quarters at all. But he's been allotted a house and that to a type 5. Then 206 Rouse Avenue gets allotted 
apparently to a minister, but actually gets allotted to the party, Aam Aadmi Party. What is this? You have no right, for the, first of all, to allot, and then you allot it for your own party. Is there any limitation on <coughs> misusing discretion by the Chief Minister of Delhi? And in the course of, of course, allotment of um, quarters, <coughs> the Delhi Commission for Women chairperson is not entitled for any quarters, but she gets one allotted. I said I'll broadly lay under three or four categories issues which are raised by the Shunglu Committee based on the 404 files which have been reviewed. Decisions which are flamboyant, decisions which require a lot of money based allocations such as the premium bus service which was launched by the Transport Minister Gopal Rai. That apparently is also questioned by the Shunglu Committee. And that decision apparently has been faulted as a faulty decision. Now, if these are all the broad kind of issues, specifics with which the committee is raising the questions, and even as the 404 files went over to be reviewed by the committee and the committee to pass a view on it, with the High Court having already said that the LG is the administrator without whose permission decisions taken may be considered illegal. It is really odd that the Delhi government's response to this whole matter is not on saying, no, sorry, none of this happened. Delhi Sarkar ye nahi bol rahi hai. कि ये सब गलत है ये कुछ नहीं हुआ इसीलिए कमेटी के जो भी फाइंडिंग से वो गलत है ये नहीं बोल रहे मगर बोल रहे हैं कि दिस कमेटी इज कंप्लीटली इलीगल देख लो 404 फाइल्स के द्वारा आपके हर एक डिसीजन को जो एलजी के परमिशन के बिना आपने निर्णय लिया उसको गलत ठहरा है एंड द ब्रॉड प्रिंसिपल कम्स फ्रॉम द हाई कोर्ट इटसेल्फ now, committee is illegal, is the response from the Delhi government. Aap ye bolo, janta ki suvida ke liye, janta ke assurance ke liye, janta ke barosa kamani ke liye, ki bhai, ye sab galat hai, ye sab kuch bhi nahi hua. Nahi hua hai. Magar ye bol rahi ho, ye committee illegal hai. And then you're saying, what is the motive of getting this report now before the MCD elections? I'm quoting, I'm reading from the court. What is the motive? The report was submitted in November. Tab se ye public domain mein baatein chalte rahe rahe hai. Aap divert karne ke liye koshish kar rahi ho ki MCD chunao mein hume galat tera rahe. Tera na nahi hai, aap to galat hi karte a rahe hai. So, the Delhi government and the Aam Aadmi Party's response is typical. Instead of answering questions to win the confidence of Janta, they are only constantly putting blame on others. The scoot technique, the spit and run technique will not work this time. I demand replies from the Delhi government on all these and more which are likely to come in the forthcoming days. Thank you. Sir, you say more in Hindi. From 215, from 215, from 2015, from 2015, the Delhi government has taken a lot of such actions, which Actually, Lieutenant Governor ke permission ke sivai lena galat tha. Public mein iska bhoot charcha hui, vipaksh mein baihte huye hamaari netagan uske baare mein bar bar question bhi karte aaye.